Hey y'all, this is Julie. Just wanted to share my layouts from my November, <clears throat> excuse me, my November um, counterfeit kit from November 2013. I never got it posted on my blog and I was in a bit of a funk last year. Anyway, I finished this kit off and wanted to share. And I was actually going to record this a couple of days ago, but ended up finding another picture um, with a little sketch that I wanted to do. And I actually did another card. So it's these top two here that I did tonight. Um, while I was, after I finished up some homework, I was just sitting here with nothing to do. So I thought, well, might as well get something done. This is a happy birthday card and it's just made out of scraps. There's the sketch that I used and it's from the page maps card sketches from, I want to say either January or February of this year. I stamped the envelope and then cut apart a little piece of bling to put in with more scraps. Um, the sentiment is a close to my heart sentiment. But anyway, that'll go into my card stash and be ready to mail. This is the layout that I also finished tonight. Um, here's the sketch. Um, it is a page map sketch, and I believe it's from February of this year. Anyway, this was I was able to get so many of my scraps used up here, and a lot of the things that just random little things from my kit. The only thing that weren't that wasn't in my kit were these brads here, these brads here, and these brads here. I keep a bowl sitting up on my desk of just random little bits and pieces, um, and I ended up having those in that bowl, so I grabbed them out and used them here. Uh, these are little bits that I printed out and cut out, um, and then the rest of it is just stuff. Uh, these two um, speech bubbles I cut from my silhouette, but the rest of it is just stuff from my stash and from this kit. And if you look closely, you can see on the on these letters, um, I actually had to get them a little bit narrow so that they would fit on here. Another Frankenstein, Frankenstein job with the H here. I didn't have an H, so I pieced together an N and a leftover from something else um, that I had cut apart. Anyway, felt like I got really good use out of my scraps on this layout. Uh, this layout uses a sketch and uh, it is from Creative Scrappers number 260. I printed the sketch out from 119 2014. So I, I'm thinking the day that I printed out, maybe the sketch was from January sometime. But here's the layout I created with that. Um, love this. This is my sweetheart, um, baby granddaughter Zoe. This was her first birthday. So this was taken October um, 2012. And I don't see a date written on here. I guess I'm slacking on that. This shape, or this layout, used lots of shapes, triangle shapes on here. And I just followed the sketch just like they had it. I didn't put the different size ones in there, but I did add um, lots of triangles. Um, some basic gray flowers. There are some, I want to say these are close to my heart. Little scrap works, um, or sorry, want to scrap. Uh, pearls and just bits and scraps of paper. This is actually a um, piece of packaging from a Jenny Bolin product that I got several years ago and it's been in my stash for quite some time. I cut it out of the packaging and just held on to it because I thought it was so cute. And this is a piece of Prima packaging that um, I threw in actually two or three pieces of, of packaging this go around and I managed to get all that I had uh, in my kit used up. This layout um, was from this sketch, and it's of my best friend, my best boyfriend, Joey. Um, you know, we all have lots of girlfriends, and typically we might have one or one, maybe two boyfriends. Well, other than my husband, Joey is my best boyfriend. Um, and so um, I made this layout. I used five flare on here, some stickers, um, some cut aparts or punch outs, and then these are labels that the inspiration kit and I don't even remember who it was now um, the inspiration kit had lots of these labels um, antique looking pharmacy labels and so I found some online that were free and printed them out um, to use in my kit and I printed tons of them out um, and then this piece where the journaling is um, is actually a piece of I want to say it's a my mind's eye packaging 
maybe from maybe some enamel dots or something. I, I don't remember now, but I remember it's a piece of packaging. This layout is from a sketch from Page Maps. It's an eight and a half by eleven sketch. Um, I printed it out on February thirteenth, so it must have been either a January or a February um, challenge on their blog to do this layout. But this is what I created. I don't scrap an eight and a half by eleven, so I made a twelve by twelve layout. I tried to mimic the squares on the top, but they were when I by the time I put the spacing in, they were a little bit wider than the four by six photos, so I just uh, tried to hide it a little bit with these wooden embellishments. I actually did some sewing on this layout at the top and at the bottom, and if you look closely, you can see where I Frankensteined another E here, um, and this is how uh, wide those uh, letters are from the first layout, and I just kind of narrowed them down to make them fit in my space. This photo is actually of my uh, best friends from junior high and high school, Michelle, Stephanie, and Janet. Um, it was a very sad time for us to get together. Um, it was Janet's 18th son's 18th birth. It was her 18 year old son's uh, funeral. He passed away um, in January. Horrific circumstances, but you know, it, it's just one of those things that when one of us is in trouble and needs one of one or the other or all of us, we all show up and that's kind of what we did. This layout is of my grandson Cameron and my granddaughter Zoe. Um, and it was taken of March of last year. And on this layout, the sketch actually had um, punch outs here where you can see the, the pattern paper behind it. But I didn't have anything with me when I was at a crop doing this layout to punch those holes out or to cut them out. So what I ended up doing is I got my stamps out and I just stamped all kind of random uh, circle elements along the back from one of my Close to My Heart stamp kits. I knew when I did it I was going to put a border up here at the top, so I left a little bit of room, but I mean, there I stamped everywhere else, even all behind the picture. Added in random things like a sticker, another one of those um, antique looking labels, some flare, a basic gray flower. Um, this is a cutout that I cut out from my um, silhouette. I uh, cut it out in white and then just inked it um, so that it would uh, stand out more on this layout. Um, and then added a little piece of washi tape and really the only place that I use ribbon on any of my layouts this time. And that's from a punch out pack and I just used a random little bit of, of uh, twine there and then I use the same twine across the top here and put some sequins there. This layout is actually a two-pager. I remember why I love doing two-pagers because it turns out so very pretty. Um, and so, bad thing about scrapbooking on glitter paper is that things don't stick. <laughs> My letters aren't sticking down and I need to go back through and add some different glue to make them stick a little bit better. Um, here is the sketch that I started with and it's actually a page map sketch. So here is the left side, um, just used little bits and, and bobs, um, had to Frankenstein that E there. Um, I used a part of a frame here, another part of a frame here, used a sticker embellishment and topped that with a basic gray flower. Used a border sticker here that I just added some flare on, or um, not flare, um, pearls onto. And then as the layout goes together, you can see I continued that um, border sticker here with the um, pearl pearls on it. Um, this is a cutout from my um, silhouette that I added to this layout. Um, this is a printable that I printed out on um, just regular printer, uh, basic cardstock, nothing fancy. I just went over it with some um, distressing ink and kind of... Uh, roughed it up so it wouldn't be so bright white on this every where nothing else was bright white um, and added it on and here's another piece of that um, Primo packaging here and a another basic gray flower this layout um, started with this sketch and I actually this was the last one I did before I showed you the first one and it was using tons of scraps as well 
well, several through here. I added the washi tape going all the way around. Um, this long piece of white here is all just one piece that I topped with a photo and added my journaling down here. But the rest are punch outs and stickers, a few little pieces of wood veneer, um, more stickers here. Um, and those were two separate stickers um, that I just layered up um, to give this one a little bit of a shadow. Um, anywho, that's my sweet granddaughter, Zoe. Um, and so that's it. I actually made eight layouts from this kit. And this is it for my pattern paper. This is what I have left at Well Cardstock 2. Um, and I thought I might um, try and make a couple more um, cards with this before I incorporate this into my scrap stash. I loved these papers. I loved this kit and I wish I'd had more time to work with it. And I guess I could keep it together and work with it some more, but you know, I'm ready to move on. I still have my February kit that I've barely put a dent in and um, I just put together a March kit as well. So embellishments that I have left, I have this package of wood veneers from Close to My Heart, which I only used a few little pieces out of, but they were the bigger ones. Um, so that will be incorporated back to my stash. These are recollections, and I used quite a few of the butterflies in here, but it's a 20-piece pack, so there's still tons left there. These enamel dots, I didn't even open them for anything. Well, I take that back. I opened them, and I looked... I tried to use them on several layouts, and when I picked these out, I actually picked them out based on, let me see, I have a little bit of a scrap piece of paper left, based on the colors in this, and I really thought I'd be able to use them, but I never did. I never used them on one layout, so back into my stash they will go. Uh, that was a little bit of flair that I had left, um, or that I had, that I have used up. There were, I think, maybe four or five pieces in that, and I've used them randomly here and there. And I think when I started this kit, I may have had one or two in there. Um, of course, my washi tapes that I have left over. I had lots of uh, washi tape with this kit. I had five rolls, no, six rolls. And I managed to use this one and this one and this one. So three of the six, that's not too bad. Um, so in my stash, they'll go. Um, my other flare that I used, the Studio Calico Days of the Week, I used a couple out of here um, on different layouts. And um, as far as ribbon goes, this is what I have left. And I only used this striped ribbon um, on any of my layouts. Um, the rest of it I didn't use, but I have a jar of bits of ribbon that these will go back into. And then I have that random sequin there under here are all the sequins that I pulled for this kit. And I think I showed you before um, from another kit that um, my last, the March kit, I keep all of my sequins in here and then I randomly pull different colors out. Well, for this one, I pulled these golden ones out and I'll just dump those right back into there. I might keep them separate, put them in a little baggie or something and use them up until they're used up. Uh, this is a little cut apart that I cut with some dies. These are all the cut aparts, either from my silhouette or from um, my big shot. Um, that was a frame that I cut out with my silhouette and I was actually gonna just cut this off and use the word from it and never used it. And then I was gonna use the frame portion on another layout and never used it. So anyway, the, the portion of the frame that I cut off has actually gone into the trash, but I'm gonna keep this because I may get some use out of it. I've got a place where I keep all of my die cuts um, and cutouts, things like this, that I'll just throw these back into. I had lots of speech bubbles left over in all different shapes and sizes. Um, here's another little frame. Lots of these little bits of um, like banners and, and things that I had cut out that I... Uh, had wanted to use up with this kit, but I never did. These colors just didn't feel right. I thought they were going to be right, but then they weren't. Some label tags that I cut out with my silhouette. This is a um, tickets that I cut out with my big shot um, with the Tim Holtz die um, that I used part of them up. Um, this is uh, from a piece of paper, actually. <coughs> Excuse me. 
two of these are from, uh, I use them for masking, and then when I was practicing with this new die that I got, I thought, well, um, let me just practice with this piece of paper. So I thought these were really cute because they have kind of a um, shimmery effect to them. I don't know if you can tell that in the light, but um, they have a shimmery effect to them, and I thought they were cute and didn't want to pitch them after I cut them out, so they went into my stash. Another frame. These are the insides of frames that I thought I might get some use out of, but didn't. More die cuts. More um, journal bubbles. Lots of journal bubbles. So another little frame. This is a Project Life card um, that I didn't get used. And this was actually attached to a bit of frame um, that I cut this away and actually used the frame. But saved that because I thought I might get some use out of it. Um, in here are the bits and pieces from like punch out pages and um, uh, like journal sheets that are full of little cut aparts and things. So those three are from that. This is a punch out piece. This is a punch out piece. And that's from a little random something. Um, I, I remember it was from an SEI embellishment pack, but that's about all I remember about that. These are kind of random. These are two little bits and pieces here that I cut out. Um, I bought a, or I didn't buy, I was given a book several um, years ago that was for TV repair. This book is from the 1970s. And on it, uh, or in the book, they have all these little um, diagrams on how to repair TVs and the wiring. And, you know, I mean, I just thought they were cool. And so I cut out several of the schematics and I've used them here and there. Um, and so I thought I'd throw these in with this kit, but unfortunately I didn't use them. These are all things that I've printed out and then cut apart. Um, these three belong to one cutout sheet, and then these were uh, two different things. That one actually says 3 by 4 card by Monica McNeil. Anyway, I guess before I use that, I'll have to cover that up. I've never read that before. And this one says it's a real pale blue that says wash, dry, fold, and repeat. Um, and then these are those label stick stickers that I was telling you about, um, the antique looking that I printed out, tons of them. I actually cut out a few, or cut down a few more thinking that I was going to get to use them on a layout and never did. But I have tons. I'm sure at some point they'll get incorporated into my stash to be used. Um, this is another one of those little um, dogs on a moped that I thought were so cute. I printed them out from somewhere and don't even remember now and just love them. I think they're cute. I think I printed out three and I've used two now and this is the last one that I have left. Um, just a random bit of twine. I had several uh, bits of twine in my kit to use and didn't get uh, hardly any of it. I think I had one layout that had some twine on it but that was um, all that I was able to use or all that I chose to use on those layouts that I did with this kit. Um, then I have one of these sheets of bling from Want to Scrap. Um, and you can see it's kind of an old-fashioned looking swirly thing. I chose not to use it for the old-fashioned swirly thing, and it's so big, so I cut out bits and pieces of it to use, and I'll continue to cut out the bits and pieces until it's used up. This is a sticker book that I have left over. You can see I got it on uh, from um, Big Lots. It was on clearance for $2.50, and I think they normally run about $4.50 or $5, so I felt like it was a fairly decent deal. These quite a few stickers from that little book. Um, this is a uh, My Mind's Eye embellishment, and it's dated from 2010. I know I've pulled this in and out for several kits and I've had it in my stash forever. Hopefully I'll get to use it at some point. Um, this is a crepe paper sticker sheet and another uh, Big Lots fine. Um, and I actually only used two stickers off of that, but I'm sure at some point I'll get these used up. This is a punch out sheet. Oh, another cutout. Um, this is a punch out sheet um, that went like this, or maybe it went like this one way or the other. Anyway, I have just used tons of the punch-outs on it. Um, 
but I still have tons to go, so it's going back into my stash to be used up. This is a sticker sheet. Um, I think down at the bottom it had all of those stickers that I used for the one banner, and then not that alphabet, but there's a, another alphabet that goes. It's this one that went right along the side here. Um, and you can see I've used several of those letters there. Um, and only one banner here and then one little page corner or photo corner there. Um, but I got pretty good use out of, out of it. And I'll, I'm sure I'll get more use out of it. This is uh, a Bow Bunny um, sticker sheet. And it actually came with an alphabet that went along this side. And you can see I've really used that alphabet as well as the stickers. There's these two stickers left. This one, this one, this one, this one, and this little bit of border strip left. And then that uh, is good. I mean, I've, I can't believe I've used up so much of that um, sticker sheet already. I don't think I've had that for very long. I know it's an older product, but I don't think I've had it that long. Um, I showed you those two alphabet stickers. And then uh, these two, I did not use one sticker, either letter or word off of it. These I did not use. These I did not use. These, when I put them in, were pretty uh, abused. I had used a ton of them, and I still have some left. And I have used them some more, and I will continue to use them until I feel like I can get all I can out of it. I mean, I still have a couple of vowels um, there and there. Um, down here, I, I still feel like I can probably, um, probably Frankenstein some more letters together to make another title or another word or so out of that alphabet. And this, y'all, um, I've been scrapbooking for, um, nearly 15 years. Um, and this, when I very first started, like the first year that I started scrapbooking, I belonged to a club on MSN, um, just a group that uh, with other scrapbookers one of the ladies in that group uh, had used this alphabet for one uh, title and had used about seven or eight um, stickers off of it seven or eight alphas off of it and she put it up for a giveaway for whoever wanted it the first one who responded to the post got it as a uh, RAK and so of course I responded and I got this set of stickers and I have just used it and used it and used it and used it and I got more use out of it today so um, you know I still have a vowel or two left or letters that I can um, Frankenstein into vowels so I, I think I can probably get a little more use out of this one so it's going back into my stash again and you can see I have several packages here that are empty along with this one of things that I have used up and so that box is empty um, I'll put away my layouts, I'll put away my um, stuff, all of the embellishments and scrap paper, and this box will be ready for another kit, and hopefully um, I'll get my February one, as well as, I believe it's my October that I have that I just nearly finished up, um, but anyway, I'll get those together, and when I can, I'll share some more layouts with you. Anyway, thanks for watching.